and a woman is crazy about you if she meets you this way. Stoic life lessons love is made up of one soul living in two bodies. Aristotle, have you ever wondered if someone is really interested in you or what their welcome really mean? Today on Win Stoic, we talk about the interesting subject if a woman greets you like this, she's crazy about you will find the gentle hints and clear signs that her greetings show how she really feels. Every welcome has a story to tell, whether it's a warm smile, long eye contact or a bit of fun. Stay tuned to find out what her hello really means and if she's really into you. What you learn might help someone else figure out their own love cues. Number 1. Warm Smile let me tell you a secret about reading a woman's mood by the way she smiles. A key idea based on lessons learned from Stoics. A woman's warm smile, one that really lights up her face and reaches her eyes, is a strong sign that she loves you deeply unlike a normal polite smile. This smile comes from a place of genuine happiness and joy at being with you. If a woman is really into you, her smile will be bright and warm every time she sees you showing how she really feels in a way that words can't describe. As soon as you walk into a room, her big, warm smile makes you feel welcome and important. This smile isn't fake or just polite. It comes from the heart when she sees someone she cares about. Her eyes might sparkle a little more, and she might have a softness in her expression that she doesn't show to everyone. This reaction might even be an unconscious and uncontrollable display of her love, as Marcus Aurelius put it. The feelings that people have color their soul. Her happy reaction shows how happy she is around you. So if she always greets you with this warm, glowing smile, it's a clear sign that she's crazy about you. In modern times, knowing these subtle signs can help you handle relationships with more confidence and clarity. Follow these stoic life lessons to make your relationships better and learn what stoicism has to teach us about real human feelings. This method, which comes from old wisdom, helps us understand how deeply people feel when they use simple but profound gestures. So the next time you see that special smile, remember that it tells you a lot about how she really feels. Using stoic ideas in our relationships can help us have deeper and more satisfying conversations and help us recognize and value real love when we see it. Number 2. Long Hugs If a woman greets you with a long warm hug, it's one of the clearest signs that she's really into you. These long embraces are more than just politeness. They show a deeper emotional connection. If she wraps her arms around you and holds on for more than a split second, it means she feels safe, comfortable and eager to be close to you. This gesture isn't just about physical closeness. It's about emotional intimacy and a desire to connect on a deeper level. Imagine meeting her and she runs towards you with a big smile, throws her arms around your neck and holds you tight for a few seconds. This is not a casual hug. It's an embrace full of love and a wish to enjoy the moment. Such a hug shows that she values your presence and the time you spend together. The lingering touch is a strong sign of her deep feelings for you. In today's world, physical touch often speaks louder than words. For example, when a woman sees her boyfriend after a long trip, she rushes through the crowd and gives him a long, heartfelt hug, ignoring everything else going on around her. This shows how happy and relieved she is to be with him again. It's not just about the hug itself, but also the feelings and meaning behind it. Stoicism today tells us to be happy and pleased with what we have right now. Stoic happiness is shown by embracing real ties without overthinking a long hug. A moment when two people deeply connect and enjoy the simple but profound joy of being with someone who cares about them. When you feel this kind of embrace, it's important to recognize and appreciate it. To sum up, a long hug from a woman is a clear sign that she's crazy about you. It means comfort, safety, and a deep emotional connection. Today's Stoicism tells us to enjoy these times of Stoic happiness and know how important real connections are. Message. If this point of view strikes a chord with you, click I agree. If not, click I don't think so. Number 3. Initiates the greetings. Greeting someone may seem like a simple everyday thing to do, but it has a lot of social meaning. Starting a conversation shows that you are confident, polite, and willing to interact with others. This small action can set the tone for the whole conversation, making it more pleasant 
and helping people get to know each other. When you meet someone, you not only show that you respect and appreciate them being there, but you also make it easier for you to connect with them and communicate effectively. Powerful and sure of itself, greeting people on their own shows that you are confident and a good boss. It shows that you are comfortable with other people and want to interact with them. When you meet someone with confidence, you can make a good first impression and set a friendly tone for further conversation. Respect and courtesy are shown. It's polite and shows respect to greet someone first. It shows that you see and value the other person, which builds respect between you. Saying hello politely can make someone feel important and valued, helps people connect with each other. Greeting someone helps break the ice and get a talk going. It gives people a chance to meet and talk to each other, which can lead to deeper relationships. Greeting people with a smile can make them more open and willing to talk. Encourages a good environment. Greetings set the tone for the conversation and make the space feel friendly and upbeat. A friendly welcome can make everyone feel better and the environment more pleasant. A positive atmosphere encourages people to work together and feel like they are part of a group. Improves relationships at work and at home. In business situations, greeting others first can show that you are professional and polite. It can help you get along better with co-workers, clients and bosses, which is good for relationships at work. Greets are a way to show that you care about someone, which makes the ties between family and friends stronger. Greeting someone is a simple but powerful thing that can have a big effect on how people connect with each other. It shows confidence, respect and a desire to interact, which leads to good relationships and a friendly atmosphere. Making it a habit to greet people first can help you get along better with others, make relationships stronger and make your personal and work life more positive. In a serious mood, a woman's initiative to greet you is a strong sign that she is interested. Imagine walking into a room, and before you can even look around, she's already there, greeting you with a big smile. This is more than just being polite, it means that you are on her mind, and that she is looking forward to seeing you. Seeing these signs can help you understand the deeper connections people are looking for. For example, if she always goes out of her way to meet you, even when it's busy, it's because she values your presence and can't wait to talk to you. She might ask how your day was, give you a compliment, or start a chat to show that she wants to get to know you better. Think about what Marcus Aurelius said. The happiness in your life rests on the thoughts you have. If she's greeting you, it's clear that she's thinking about you and seeing you as special. This isn't just a friendly act, it's a strong sign that she's excited about you. Imagine walking into a room and she's the first person to greet you with enthusiasm. This shows that she's thinking about you before you even arrive and can't wait to talk to you. As the Stoics say, actions speak louder than words. Her efforts to greet you first every time show that she likes and respects you. Now, ask yourself why she feels the need to greet you before anyone else. These open-ended questions can help you figure out what she's trying to say and how she's acting. For example, by greeting you first, she's showing that she cares about you and wants to connect with you. This consistent effort is a strong sign that she's crazy about you, because in the stoic mindset, actions like these are valued because they show genuine interest and connection. Don't forget what your great teachers told you. How you handle things is more important than what happens to you. Her actions tell you a lot about how she feels, and how you respond to them can help you build a meaningful friendship. When someone you care about greets you warmly, how did that make you feel? Did it make you feel good and appreciated? That's exactly how she feels when she sees you. Her eagerness to greet you first shows that she values your presence and looks forward to your interactions. According to the Stoic philosophy, these kinds of connections are necessary for personal growth and happiness. By recognizing and appreciating her efforts, you can build a strong and meaningful relationship based on mutual respect and admiration. Think about this quote from Seneca, we suffer more often in our minds than in real life. If she's the one who greets you first, it's because she likes being with you and is looking forward to talking to you. This isn't just a friendly habit, it's a clear sign that she's thinking about you and wants to connect with you.
By recognizing her efforts and responding positively, you can improve your bond and build a relationship that will last. Her constant greetings are a strong sign that she loves you and appreciates having you in her life. When a woman greets you, it's a big deal that she likes and respects you. Her eagerness to connect with you shows that she values your presence and looks forward to your interactions. By noticing and praising her hard work, respect and love for each other can lead to a deep and meaningful relationship. As Marcus Aurelia said, the soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. She always tries to be the first to greet you, which is a clear sign that she's crazy about you. Adopt a stoic attitude and see these signs as valuable indicators of genuine connection and interest. Don't forget to ask yourself open-ended questions to figure out what she's trying to say and why. By doing this, you can build a lasting and meaningful relationship based on stoic wisdom and mutual admiration before we reveal the fourth key. Sign up for our channel and join our group of smart people by clicking the button below. Please click like on this video to make sure you don't miss any of our great tips. Number four, extended eye contact. When a woman greets you with long eye contact, it's a strong sign that she's interested in you. This isn't a quick glance of acquaintance. It's a long, meaningful gaze that says a lot about her attraction and curiosity. When she looks into your eyes longer than usual, it's not just a sign of interest. It's an invitation to connect on a deeper level. Imagine being in a room full of people, but feeling like you're the only ones there because of the intensity of her gaze. Her eyes lock onto yours and don't move away, showing that her full attention is on you. Long-lasting eye contact is followed by small cues, a soft, warm look, a small smile, and even the dilation of her pupils, which is a subconscious reaction to attraction. It's like time stops, and in those moments, feelings and wants are shared that words can't say. This kind of eye contact isn't just polite or socially appropriate. It's a strong way to communicate without words. Even when the room is full of people, she looks for your eyes. This is a clear sign that she wants to be close to you. The softness of her expression and the intensity with which she holds your eyes are clear signs that she's deeply interested in you and wants to learn more about you. For example, if she holds your gaze with a look that seems to say a thousand unspoken words, she's telling you that she's captivated by you. Her eyes might light up when they meet yours, and you might notice that her whole demeanor becomes more tender and open. It's not just about looking at you, it's about seeing you, connecting with who you are beneath the surface. Even when she's not speaking, her eyes tell you how she feels, making you feel special and valued. This intense and meaningful eye contact is her way of expressing what she feels, a form of communication that goes beyond verbal language in the realm of Stoicism. It is very important to notice and understand these small signs. After all, what is Stoicism if not the ability to figure out the deeper meanings behind our actions and feelings? By paying attention to these clues, you can better understand how your relationships work and respond with the wisdom and calmness that Stoicism teaches, especially in today's fast-paced and shallow world of communication. Taking note of and appreciating these real times of connection can change the way you talk to people and make your relationship stronger. When a woman meets you, making long eye contact is a clear sign that she is deeply interested and attracted to you. This isn't just about being polite. She's using her eyes to show how she feels and connect with you on a deep level. Her gaze says what words can't, showing that she wants to be closer to you. Enjoy these moments and let them help you build real meaningful relationships. Seneca said that the only way to be truly happy is to enjoy the present without worrying about the future. So, pay attention to these subtle signs of love and let them help you learn stoic lessons along the way. If you think this approach is helpful, please leave a comment below saying I like it to share your ideas and connect with other people who share your views. Number 5. Playful teasing. A woman who greets you with playful teasing is definitely interested in you. Playful teasing is a fun, light-hearted way to interact with someone that shows she feels close to and comfortable with them. It's her way of showing affection without coming on too strong. For example, if she sees you and says, oh look who finally decided to show up with a cheeky grin, 
She's not just making fun. She's trying to make you laugh and connect with her. This kind of teasing is meant to build a relationship and make both of you smile, not to hurt your feelings. She might make a friendly, affectionate joke about something small, like your hairstyle or the way you're dressed. This isn't just idle chatter. It's her way of showing she cares about you and enjoys being with you. It means she's paying attention and wants to share a fun moment with you. Picture yourself at a casual get-together. As soon as you walk in, she meets you with a well-well look, who finally made it with a smile and a fun eye roll. This isn't just a comment. It's a playful jab meant to make you feel welcome and noticed. These kinds of interactions are important for building a deeper relationship because they show interest and comfort. She's using humor and light teasing to break the ice and make everyone feel more at ease. Think about your own reactions. If you find yourself smiling and feeling good about these interactions, it's likely because she's striking the right balance between humor and affection in today's fast-paced world, where stoic happiness and maintaining a balanced emotional state are vital. These small moments of playful teasing can be incredibly meaningful. They cut through the mundane and bring a bit of joy into everyday interactions. Consider how these moments make you feel seen and valued. This is the essence of Stoicism today, finding contentment and connection in simple everyday interactions when she teases you about your lateness or your choice of attire. She's not just making small talk, she's engaging with you on a more personal level, showing that she notices the little things about you. This is her way of investing in the relationship, albeit subtly. So if she consistently greets you with playful teasing, it's a strong sign that she's crazy about you. It's her way of creating a fun and positive dynamic between you two, making the moments you share more enjoyable and memorable. Think about how these interactions make you feel. Do they make you feel closer to her? Do they make you smile? These are clear signs that the playful teasing is working its magic. By noticing and appreciating these signs, you can better understand how she really feels and respond in kind, building a relationship based on love and happiness for both of you. Don't know what to say? Just leave a comment if you liked the video. That way I'll know you made it to the end. Number six, excitement in voice. Greeting a woman with a clear excitement in her voice is a strong sign that she's interested in you. When a woman likes you, her voice naturally becomes more upbeat and lively upon seeing you, which is a reaction that's hard to fake. Imagine walking into a room and she beams, hey, it's so great to see you. Her voice may go up a notch and she might speak faster because she's eager to start a conversation with you. This level of excitement isn't just friendly. It's a clear sign that she's thrilled to be in your presence. She may also ask a lot of questions about your life, which makes you feel special and appreciated, which reinforces the idea that she's crazy about you. Imagine how uplifting it is to have someone light up just because you walked into the room. Marcus Aurelius, a famous Stoic philosopher, once said that the happiness of your life depends on the quality of your thoughts. In this case, noticing and appreciating the signs of affection from someone else can greatly improve your relationship with them. When you notice these signs, it's important to adopt a Stoic mindset that values reason and self-awareness. If a woman constantly greets you with joy and excitement, it means she is deeply interested in you which you should recognize and value. Amazing Teeters Another great Stoic thinker says that what counts is not what happens to you, but how you deal with it. This quote is especially useful when trying to figure out what a woman is excited about when she greets you. Take her excitement as a good sign and answer with kindness and genuine interest. Your response can make her feel better and strengthen your relationship with her. Stoic ideas can help you see social interactions in a more balanced way. They can help you stay grounded and focused, which means you'll be more likely to answer thoughtfully instead of impulsively. This Stoic way of thinking can change your relationships and make them more meaningful and satisfying. By adopting a Stoic mindset, you win Stoic not only in knowing others, but also in building better relationships through mindful and appreciative interactions. Remember that genuine excitement in a greeting is a good sign of someone's love and interest. Notice it, value it, and respond with the same level of excitement and respect. 
Doing this will strengthen your relationships and make your social life better. Whenever a woman meets you, her voice will be full of excitement. This means she's happy to see you and is really interested in you. Respond with gratitude and keep a stoic attitude to handle your interactions in a thoughtful and positive way. This method not only makes your relationship stronger, but it also helps you win stoic by helping you understand and connect with those around you more deeply. The excitement in your voice can be a strong way to communicate, having a big effect on how people understand your message and how interesting you seem to them. It shows excitement, passion and energy which makes your encounters more interesting and memorable. This skill is important for many situations, from giving speeches and presentations in public to having normal chats and getting along with other people. Boosts engagement. People will naturally be interested in you and pay attention if your voice is excited. It keeps people from tuning out and makes your speech more interesting. How? To make your speaking more interesting, change your pitch, volume and tempo. To bring out important points, practice emphasizing key words and sentences. Shows enthusiasm and passion. Why? An excited voice shows that you are passionate and interested in what you're talking about, which makes you seem more believable and real. How? Think about what makes you excited about the subject and let that feeling show in your voice. When you talk, a smile automatically makes your voice sound warmer and more lively, makes an emotional connection. Why getting people excited can help you connect with them on an emotional level, which will make them care more about what you have to say. How? Talk about your own experiences or stories that are related to the topic. Your real excitement will connect with people and make a connection. Makes you feel better. Why? Speaking with excitement can make you feel more confident and sure of yourself, and your body language and general presence will often show this. How? Either talk to a mirror or record yourself talking about things you're really interested in. Pay close attention to your body language and make sure it matches your upbeat tone, makes you more persuadable. This is because an excited voice can help your point stick, because it shows that you really believe what you're saying. How? Use strong, positive words and don't speak in a monotone. To stay true to yourself, make sure your excitement fits with what you're saying or doing. Adding excitement to your voice is a strong way to communicate that can make people more interested show passion, make emotional connections, boost confidence, and make you more convincing. By getting good at this skill, you can make your interactions more powerful and memorable, leaving your audience with a lasting memory. Number seven, mirroring. Don't try to be like other people, be yourself. This quote by Oscar Wilde sums up what real contacts are all about and how they have a subtle but powerful effect on making connections. Mirroring is a strong sign of interest that goes beyond what you think. When a woman greets you by doing the same things you do, it means that you have a deep subconscious link with her. Imagine that you wave at her and smile warmly, and she does the same. This mirroring, which can be slight, like crossing her arms when you do, or more obvious, like matching your posture or tone of voice, shows that you have a lot in common. Even if she isn't fully aware of it, it's her way of showing that she feels at ease and in sync with your presence. This unconscious copying shows how much she likes and is attracted to you, making you feel understood and linked on a deeper level. When a woman mirrors you, it's not just about body language, it's about how you feel and what you think. This mirroring makes you feel like you're on the same path which helps people understand each other and work together. These kinds of moments of connection are rare and valuable and being aware of them can help you build deeper relationships in a world where real ties can feel hard to find. Recognizing and appreciating these minor signs can make your relationships with other people a lot better. Being present, watching without bias and reacting honestly are important. If a woman consistently does the same things you do, it's a clear sign that she's crazy about you and wants a deeper connection. Using this information not to manipulate, but to appreciate and return genuine interest and affection is where the wisdom of Stoicism comes in. This is related to Stoic philosophy. Think about Marcus Aurelius's words. Don't waste time arguing about what a good man should be. Be that man. 
Use this principle in your interactions with others, instead of overanalyzing or doubting her intentions. Instead, see the mirroring as a sign of genuine interest and be the person who values and nurtures these connections with honesty and kindness. By doing this, you not only improve your relationships, but also show the stoic virtues of wisdom and compassion as you go through your social life. Remember that stoicism is about living in harmony with nature and that people are naturally social. Pay attention to the small signs like mirroring that show attraction and rapport. Use what you've learned to make real connections based on mutual respect and honesty. Seeing and appreciating these signs of connection can lead to deeper and more satisfying relationships. So the next time a woman copies your actions, take it as a compliment and a sign that she's interested. BET, grateful for it, and respond with the same level of genuine engagement and warmth. If you found these insights helpful, please like, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's continue to explore the profound influence of Stoicism together. Number 8. Blushing or Nervousness Whether she blushes or acts nervous when she meets you, it's clear that she's very interested in you. Her responses, like her cheeks turning a rosy colour or her fidgeting with her hair, are strong signs of her romantic feelings. This is because these actions show that she wants to make a good impact on you. For example, she might walk up to you with pink cheeks or start playing with her necklace while nervously laughing. She might even stutter as she talks. These responses aren't random. They show that she gets butterflies in her stomach whenever she's around you. Even though she's nervous, she makes an effort to be with you because she likes you and wants to impress you. This behavior fits with the stoic mindset, which says that actions are driven by feelings in a subtle but profound way. For example, Marcus Aurelius said, the soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. Her blushing and nervousness are outward signs of how she feels about you. Have you ever noticed that her laughter sounds higher pitched or that she smooths her clothes more often when you're around? These are her subconscious ways of showing that she cares about what you think of her. Why do you think these signs are so strong? Because they are genuine and uncontrollable. When someone is trying to hide how they feel about you, it's easy to hide their emotions, but when feelings are real, they show through these small, uncontrollable actions. As Epic teachers said, it's not what happens to you that matters, and her reactions are spontaneous and tell you more about her feelings than words could ever could. Not only do her nervousness and blushing show that she likes you, but they also give you a chance to react with calm wisdom. How you respond to these signs can make or break the chance of a deeper relationship. Are you ready to face this challenge with a stoic attitude and win over stoicism? Engage with her by asking her open-ended questions that let her talk freely. For example, you could ask her, what do you like most about our conversations? This question not only shows that you care about her feelings and thoughts, but it also makes her want to talk more about what makes your interactions special to her. By doing this, you make her feel heard and valued, which is important for any new relationship. Understanding these subtle signs of love and keeping a cool head about them can have a big effect on your relationships. If a woman blushes or acts nervous around you, remember that it means she is really interested in you. Respond with kindness, empathy and wisdom, and you will not only win her heart, but you will also live by the stoic principles every day. Thank you for watching this video on If a Woman Greets You Like This, She's Crazy About You. We've talked about how to figure out how a woman feels and how important it is to pay attention to small signs. By using these ideas, you can improve your relationships and learn more about how love works. If you liked this video, please click like and subscribe to Stoic Diary for more helpful relationship advice. Tell us about the little things that show love in your relationships in the comments section below. Until next time, take care and remember that love is in the little things.